and good afternoon, Mr. President, your honours, parties to the proceeding, and the general public. Your honours, as my colleague has demonstrated. Based on the severance order of the trial chamber, based on the certain charges selected for the trial of this first segment, that is, regard the forced transfers phase one and two, and the killing site at Dul Putre, and these facts are related to the crimes against humanity. The extermination, the persecution, and the forced transfer and forced disappearance. The prosecution is of the view that the accused Nun Chi and Kiu Sumpon must be responsible for all these crimes which were committed within the scope of 002 slash 01. In their capacities are the senior leaders of the Democratic Kampuji regime. The accused Nunchi and Kiusumpon was the one who established the CPK policies and the five policies include the forced transfer on a number of occasions of the population from the cities to the countryside and from another region to another region. Secondly, the establishment and the maintenance of the profits at the cooperatives. Three, the re-education of the bad elements and the killing of the enemies inside and outside the party ranks. Fourth, special measures taken against targeted groups, including Cham, Vietnamese, Buddhist, and former officials of the former Khmer Republic regime, including civil servants, military officers, and their families. Five, the order on and the regulation on forced marriage amongst the five main policies through policies were successfully implemented and they are related to the charges within the scope of this case, namely the forced transfers of the population and the killing of the officials and officers of the Khmer Republic regime. The prosecution is of the opinion that, based on the evidence, including telegrams, videos, witnesses' testimonies, and experts' testimonies, they all show clearly that the two accused have knowledge and actively participated in the implementation of the Communist Party of Kampuchea's plans which caused the millions of deaths of the Cambodian people within the three years, eight months, and 20 days period. We do not ask for the killing of these two accused. We do not ask you to condemn this man and their entire families to be thrown out of their homes to be forced march under the hot sun for days at a time, to be left in the wilderness to toil and starve in an organized system of enslavement, to be abused and beaten to be lied to and deceived, to be bound and shot, 
to watch their children be torn apart and smashed against trees, and their loved ones perish without even the dignity of funeral rites. As the true accused and their co-perpetrator co committed on the victims, today, on behalf of the Cambodian people and the international community, we ask you for justice. Justice for the victims who perished and the just justice for the victims who survived today who had to live through such vicious and cruel regime. Under the leadership of these two accused and other leaders, we ask you to punish the two accused according to the law. Your Honours, the accused Nun Chi and Kiu Sampon fails to express their remorse or regret for the crimes committed under the leadership of the CPK and the DK regime. Kiu Sampon does not cooperate with the court to seek the truth, to give justice to the victims. On the contrary, the accused Nguyen Chi expressed anger through his words that a rotten wood shall not be carved into a Buddhist statute. Upon listening to the testimony of Gang Gek Il, that was the time he made it. As for Kiu Samporn, he stated that let bygone be bygone. The accused Nun Chi and Kiu Samporn lied and do not take the responsibility toward the evidence put before your honor before this court. As they claimed, the evacuation was to avoid the food shortage and to avoid the American bombardment. The accused Kiu Sampon claimed that he never had any relationship with any other senior leaders, namely Pol Pot and Nun Chi. This is contradictory through testimonies of several witnesses. Contrary to his interview with previous journalists. Within the scope of the trial in this first phase of case 002, we see no ground to reduce the penalty for the two accused. Your Honours, today, what has been suffered by the Democratic Kampuchea regime and what the international community and us have waited for over 38 years, six months and four days, commencing from the 17th April 1975, which at the time Cambodia fell into darkness and terror for the period of three years, eight months, and 20 days. And the impact of the regime remains till this day. For that reason, the shade of light is coming closer to us. And Nun Chi and Kiu Sampon must be responsible for all those crimes. We have sufficient evidence before you, Your Honours, in accordance to Article 5, 29 New and 39 New of the Law on the Establishment of the Extraordinary Chambers in the Courts of Cambodia 
to prosecute crimes committed during the democratic Cambodian regime, the prosecution requests the trial chamber and your honors to punish the accused Nun Chi and Kim Sung Pong for life imprisonment, which is the only punishment that they deserved. And that is the international standard for these crimes as well. I am grateful, Mr. President.